Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how I painted this simple painting, some random petals and leaves. And it's quite easy and simple and I'm sure you will enjoy it. First thing I did is made my sketch and the sketch as always is available for download from my website. So I will put the link down in the description box. Go ahead and check it out, download it for yourself, trace it and we can get started. I also prepared for myself some graphite paper that I will be using for tracing and I do like the graphite paper because I have blocks of paper and it's I can't actually trace it on the window so it's easier to use a graphite paper and then trace it onto my watercolor paper and I as you probably already know I always do sketch my sketches on just a regular printing paper and then trace it onto watercolor paper and after that I'm using just a needed eraser to pick up the excess graphite and just to make my sketch slightly slightly lighter. I will be using a couple of colors. First I'm preparing for myself some Mars Brown and then this is a Mother Lake Red Light that I'm picking big amount because that is the color that I think I will be needing quite a lot and to that I'm adding just a little bit of Cadmium Yellow Medium just to give it some warmth. I do like that mix so that is the color I will be using for the petals and after that I am taking that ball that I think has a little bit of azure in it and I will add some turquoise blue because I do want that you know slightly greenish tint to my blue and also I've picked up see there on that corner there is a little bit of emerald green I picked up a little bit of that emerald green just to add it a little bit more of that green to it and then mixed in some this is olive green quite a lot actually of olive green that is the color we'll be using for our leaves and also I'm adding to it a little bit of chromium oxide because I do want it to go a little bit on a greenish color not so much on the yellow color and those are the colors we'll be using. Afterwards I've prevented the entire paper and when I've done that I've took just a large quite large round brush because I do want my splatters to spread more and I am using that Mars Brown and also now with a smaller brush I've added some splatters with clean water on top of it just to help it spread even more and when the paint completely dried I moved on to first painting my leaves and for that I am using this round brush that has quite pointy tip and snaps back just perfectly I do like it how it snaps back it has synthetic bristles so they I guess snap back better than the real hairbrush so for painting leaves I am using that mix of olive green and chromium oxide and when I painted those I've added just a little bit of that blue to some part because I do want some diversity and also I'm adding just slight just touch of that pink also and that is the way I will be painting all the leaves to that branch this is a, just a smaller branch with some leaves and as I said I will paint it all in the same manner so I am first using the tip of my brush to paint in that you know top of the leaf and then press it a little bit harder to paint in the middle part and then pick it up again and use the tip of my brush to paint that part of the leaf nearest to the root nearest to that stem. Stem I'm painting with some Mars Brown and you know since the paint is still wet on my leaves that paint is slightly bleeding also into those leaves but that is fine that is actually what we want and now that we are finished with that first layer we will be adding the second layer and the second layer is actually the adding a little bit more of the leaves to the leaf itself I do want a middle part of the leaf or just you know one part of the leaf to stay white so I am adding a line to make that white between the leaf I painted earlier and you know I quite like that and so I'm adding a little bit more of the pigment on top of it I think it looks I don't know nicer like that so right now I'm also adding a little bit of Mars Brown to the you know to that root of my leaf 
I think. Is that how you say it? I'm not sure. It is to the part of the leaf that is near to the stem because I do want that part to be slightly darker and you know, I again that is the way I like it. So I'm adding a little bit more of that Mars Brown, a little bit of darker pigment to that part. Also when finished with that I'm moving on to painting other leaves that are on my page but you know the same way those leaves I'm painting actually the same way as I did paint the leaves on the branch because you know those are probably some leaves that fell off the branch or maybe from some other similar branch but again I'm painting it in the same way and when finished with green I'm adding a little bit again of that Mars Brown at that part of the leaf that would be nearest to the stem. When finished with my leaves I'm moving on to painting the petals and I do have some couple of larger ones and some smaller ones. I think I will be painting them mostly the same but there will be some difference in details. So first I've privetted this petal, this is a larger one and then added a little bit of, this is, I think I haven't prepared in the beginning because I've added a little bit of cadmium yellow medium to my Mars Brown and painted in that root of the petal and then added a little bit of green, my mix of green and on top added a little bit of that mix of cadmium yellow medium and mother lake red light. As I said earlier that is the color that I will be using for the petals and as you can have seen I've just tapped in that color adding a little bit more of the pigment here and there and I will be adding a little bit more of the pigment and details to all of my petals. Second petal I started the same using that mix of Mars Brown and Cadmium Yellow Medium added on top of it a little bit of the green and then to my mix of Mother Lake Red Light and Cadmium Yellow Medium added a little bit of bluish color that my bluish blue, blue greenish mix to make in that purple color because you know that petal I did want it to be slightly purple but you know actually if I was doing it again I would not do that I would use just that pink color and make it the same as the others as you will see later on I did not actually use again that pigment that purple color for any other petal because actually I, I did not really like it so you know you can just skip that and paint with a pink that one also same way as the previous one and moving on to the other petals I am painting it as I said in the same way for the petals I am using a little bit smaller brush and switching between that small round brush and this one with a quite pointy tip and as you can see I'm adding pigment to the corners and then just smudging it slightly and you know leaving that part in the middle a little bit lighter and the part at the corners just a little bit darker and while the paint is still wet on my petals I am adding a little bit more with this brush with a pointy tip I am adding a little bit more of that saturated pink pigment because I as I said I do want my corners to be a little bit darker and a little bit more detailed and also adding a little bit more of the pigment at the part where the transition is between that green and also that pink. You know as you can see right now this petal just won't listen to me and as I said I really don't like how that one turned out at the end so just maybe skip that purple part and use the pink. And now I'm adding a little bit more of the details to that uh, slightly larger petal and again nearest to the part that is uh, where the green is I'm adding a little bit more pigment and also on the top of the petal. And this one is the second also larger one and you know I'm doing it in the same way but this time I've left just a little bit of white on my petal because I do think those maybe those petals are nearer to the source of the light so they have a little bit more of that light reflection on them and that is the reason why I left some parts of those petals just you know white and again adding some more details to those petals and working again on that petal <laughs> I was just going back to it just going back and trying to fix it as I said I, I really don't like it. 
So that is actually done with those petals and after finishing with them and the paint now is dry on my leaves, I added just a little bit of yellow pigment to it just to make it slightly different on some parts and then with uh, some, I think that is actually green, I've added some I think those those could be shadows or some darker parts to my leaves and just to make it a little bit more textured and again a little bit more of the splatters with pink and then I will use also that mix of yellow, yellow colors, mix of Mars brown and yellow to do some other sprinkles and with that I'll be finishing off this painting, at least I think, I thought I would be finishing with this painting, but when I removed the washi tape, you know, I was just missing something on the top of my branch, so I have decided to add a couple of more leaves, and those I did maybe a little bit more simple, I've just done those, you know, painted those leaves, pressing, uh, using the tip of my brush, pressing it a little bit harder and then picking it, picking it again up. I will be adding also a little bit more of that blue-green mix to it just to make it slightly diverse and at the end I did like better how it turned out and with that I'll be finishing off this painting and of course this video. Thank you guys a lot for watching, for all your support and you know, if you do like this video, click hit the like button, share it, comment. If you haven't still, please subscribe to my channel. That would really, really mean a lot to me. You know, do check out my video about joining my channel, joining my membership. I would really appreciate that. Maybe consider that. And you know, that is the button that is beneath this video, you know, next to the subscribe button, press it and then hear a little bit more about that. And without further ado, I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.